G'day everyone, Mark here from Mark and Cars. Today you find me at KTEC Auto House. It's an uh, independent Porsche specialist, who also specialise in servicing uh, other European makes and models. You would have seen them on my channel before. If not, I'll link a couple of videos below. Let's have a bit of a look around what's going on in the workshop at the moment. So this car is quite interesting. It's a, it looks like a, possibly a 964, maybe even a G-series car that's been updated. It's a twin turbo. It's got some big deep wheels in it, have a look at those. And you can see this car has also uh, got a monster wing on the back. Adjustable, as you can see there. Um, Big like titanium exhaust tips on the end there, hanging out the back of the turbos underneath the car. Have a size of the, we have a size of the, the offset wheels here. We've got a car under cover here, and I'm not going to let you guys know what it is, but put in the comments below if you can tell me what it is from this clue. If you need a hint, I've done a video of one in the past. A 928S4, quite a nice one actually. The uh, cup wheels on it, the well, polished wheels aren't exactly my cup of tea, but I know that it's not that uncommon a conversion done to a lot of these cars. Car actually presents very nicely. So there's always some uh, plenty of 911 action here in the workshop. You can see this uh, looks like a 911 SC, I'm guessing. Great colour and um, been slightly modified. Got a big tail on the back. Great colour interior. It's like a chocolatey brown. Let's see if you can see inside there. Let's have a look. Yes. It's a great colour interior. It's like a brown leather with a checkered cloth. Um, got some rally car action here as well. Looks like an Opal Cadet, I think they've called One Make Series uh, based in Europe. This car here is um, fully caged up. This is 100% rally car, this car. So we can get a bit closer. Park next to that is a car that's very close to my own heart. This is a black 914. Look, this is probably one of the two litre cars. It's actually the same colour as my old car. And um, clearly it's been caged up, got the seats in it, the whole thing. Big empty hole in the middle though. So that looks like it's getting ready for something to go into it in the near future. It's got the uh, Fuchs wheels, been signed up and everything. You can see out here we've got a couple of uh, other customer cars here. We've got a lovely, uh, looks like a 996, the 997 GT3. All been um, fully caged up, up to 996, I can sell by the headlights. It caged up, got all the seats, got the whole box and dice. This is one serious car. Here we've got a um, RWB track car. You have a look at the camera on these front wheels, will you? They are unbelievable. Got turbo fans bolted on as well. Let's see if we can get a better look at that. Yeah, look at those bad boys. And you would have seen this car a couple of times in the channel. Hopefully try and get it out on the track one day and see if we can get a behind the wheel of it at some point. Also here we've got, a, hmm, look at this, in the sort of club room space of the uh, workshop here, looks like a very nice looking motor. Just look at the colour of that muffler. I wouldn't stay that colour very long in my car. Twin plug motor. Looks like it's carburetted as well. Very nice. Whilst well, there's plenty of Porsche action going on here, you can see by this um, Touareg here that the guys also service Mercedes, Volkswagen, BMW and Audi as well. 
The workshop also does full restorations and um, conversion, RSR style conversions, that type of thing. And this is a car here that looks like it's getting a lot of body work done and looks like a bit of a backdate going on. So this, this should be, a, you'll have to excuse the noise, it's a working workshop. So it looks like there's a bit going on in this car. It'd be good to see this on the road in the near future. I wonder if this is a uh, bit of speculation as to what this car could be looking like in the future. <laughs> this should be fun to see. FJ Holden here with the uh, side spats, mud flaps, original looking car. Um, so you can see the guys here are, you know, they are mechanics, they don't just work on Porsches and other European brands. Occasionally you see the old car like this come through as well. Got an old turbo cabriolet here. It's the um, absolute cracker of an 80s car, this one. They don't come much uh, bigger and wider than these for the era, that's for sure. Uh, it's parked right behind a um, G-Series car. You would have seen this car a couple of times on the channel. And above that, we've got a 944 race car. restorations earlier this is a looks like a 1972 Targa it is I know the car's been together it's come back apart so it looks like it's uh, getting the full Monty done be interesting to see what the outcome of this is gonna be here's a piece of equipment you don't see off a car very often this is the stainless steel hoop of a Targa would have been good in my uh, previous video on the history of the Targas I'll link that below as well if you're interested I don't know if you can tell from here or not, but the way I knew this was a 72 is it has an external oil filler. The only year that 911 came out with an external oil filler. It's a 991 GT3 RS. It's got, let me know what you guys think about the uh, blue uh, touches here around the car on the lava orange. I actually think it looks okay. That's excuse the noise, it's a bit of background noise. This is a working workshop as I mentioned earlier. This car is uh, used for competition quite a bit as the, uh, you can tell from the tow hook. And it is, uh, been seen a lot in the tarmac rally style events that we have here in WA. Just recently been fitted with a Shark Works exhaust. We'll have a look at that in a minute. Get it started up. Like all the GG3 RSs, has a Porsche decal instead of a badge. Didn't have the save weight. Irony being, they go to the trouble of putting in just pull door straps, but still have power windows. Get 
So I've enjoyed the uh, look around the workshop here. The guys here have always, as always, been very friendly and accommodating for, uh, you know, letting us all have a look at what projects they've got going on. Follow them on Instagram, I'll put their link below. And um, if you're in the area, drop in, say good day. If you've got a car that these guys can help you out on, they're always good for it. Thanks for watching, Mark and Cars. <laughs>